No eating, please. No smoking. Thank you. My name is Bill. I'll be your conductor. If you have any questions, just flag me down at one of our stops. Thank you. A different on Greenville Village to take approximately 30 minutes. We'll have two additional stops. Please sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. Greenville Village is divided into seven historic districts. The Henry Ford Model T District is first on the left. There's where you can enjoy a ride on an authentic Model T for the interior of Greenville Village. Visit Henry Ford's birthplace. It's the White Farmhouse, built in 1861. He was born there in 1863. He moved it here in 1944 from three and a quarter miles away, which is now the corners of Ford Road and Greenfield Road. Main Street District is where the Red Brothers home and cycle shops are. Their authentic building is coming to us from Dayton, Ohio, built in the 1870s. Learn about the beginning of aviation there. Visit Mrs. Cohen's Millinery Shop from downtown Detroit, built in 1880. Next to her, the H.J. Hines Building, built in 1835 in Sharpsburg, Pennsylvania. And Sir John Bennett's Sweet Shop from London, England, all on Main Street. Behind the Ford Motor Company to the left is the loading dock for the Model T rides. Edison Networks is the next historic district. Thomas Edison is credited with 1,093 U.S. patents. Many more from England, France, and Germany. On the village green is the Logan County Courthouse, where Abraham Lincoln practiced law built in 1840 in Lincoln, Illinois. The gray building here is the rebuilt Menlo Park Laboratory, and the gold building we're approaching is Sarah Jordan's Boarding House. Many of the unmarried men who worked for Edison at the lab live there. It's one of the first buildings in the United States wired for electricity. Next to Sarah Jordan is Edison's official Fort Myers, Florida laboratory. And around the corner from them is the Luther Burbank Garden Office, the only building from the west coast of the United States, built in 1906 in Santa Rosa, California. Cackley Covered Bridge comes to us from Southwest Pennsylvania over the Wheeling Creek. This is the entranceway in the Forges and Parlage District. Here you can visit historic homes such as Noel Webster's 1823 home from New Haven, Connecticut. Robert Frost built in the 1830s in Ann Arbor, Michigan. The Maddox Farmhouse, the Hermitage Slave Quarter. McGuffey's Cabin. Across the pond is the Edison Homestead, where Edison's great-grandparents lived in Vienna, Ontario, Canada. Up the sidewalk and to the right, the sandstone complex is the Cotswold Cottage, built in 1619 in Chadsworth County, England. We'll be stopping here. This is Susquehanna Station, a four-minute stop. If you choose to get off here, the train will be back in 30 minutes. Now, please remain seated. Wait for the whistle from the engineer. He'll give us one blast in the beginning. He uh, set the air brake, and it'd be safe at that point to get up and exit on the left. Remain seated.